Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the week of January 24th. We're going to jump right in here, Scorpio, and see what is going on for you at this time. And uh, that'll be that. This is going to be part one. And uh, there will be a part two that is also linked up uh, in the top comment down below. But uh, let's see here. Um, you have this news card, this Raven Spirit right here and you have the lovers the page of cups the ace of wands uh you also have the queen of cups here so it wouldn't really surprise me and you end with the queen of wands the queen of wands is about being very attractive at this time so some of you could definitely be attracting communication uh, from a person if you're looking for love uh, even if you're not that I, I guess you know technically that doesn't stop anyone from communicating with you but um, whether you accept it into your life or not is up to you right um, but what I would say is I do feel like there could be solid communication uh, coming in for you here um, with this card so I do feel that this could be love related based off the lovers uh, if you're I do also feel that this could also just be you kind of making a decision lovers two of pentacles and the moon you know to me that's like trying to make a choice um <laughs> trying to decide and well it's interesting that we go like this lovers moon to the four of cups uh that to me is definitely like um you know is my current situation the best i can do or is there something better is the grass greener on the other side i don't know we're gonna have to find out scorpio by going through this but um some of you could be questioning whether or not and, and again i'm not talking about love here i'm just saying you know sometimes i think we get this like you know, urge where we think, you know, really, is this the best that life gets? Is this the best that it, we could, could get here? And I kind of see that for you. Um, I don't think you're doing this out of, um, you know, kind of like, you know, out of um, wrong intentions. I think this is a good thing, not a bad thing. It's like you're saying, you know, there's got to be more to life. There's got to be more than what I'm experiencing right now. And that's kind of how I'm feeling about this whole entire reading. Really, pretty simple. Uh, you start off with the lovers, the two of pentacles, and the ace of wands. The lovers could be love. Like I said, I do see love here. It's pretty simple. Um, lovers, page of cups, queen of wands, Some uh, an admirer finds you attractive. I mean, that's literally as simple as we can make the tarot right there, right? <laughs> so there could be a person. Uh, I see Pisces, water in general, Virgo here. So it could be one of those signs. Could be any sign, general reading. Uh, could be a Gemini as well. But I do feel like some of you could be attracting love into your life. But for the most part, I feel like this is having to do with your values. The lovers is like a card of our values our, and our morals, kind of. Uh, more so our values, like things that we value in our life. I, uh, quite simply, going this direction, I feel like the moon and the four of cups is saying, is like you saying, you know, am I living my values? Am I receiving my values? Am I getting the things that I do value in life? Am I having the experiences I value? Uh, I see this a lot in the astrology, especially. So it, it makes perfect sense to me that you would be focusing on your values. You're not the only sign that has had a message about values either. So like I said, based off the astrology, kind of makes sense to me that people could be very focused on, um, you know, kind of having more things that they value in their life. Um, and so like, for example, if you value freedom and you have a job that uh, takes up a large portion of your day and you're not feeling free, then you're probably gonna, you're at a crossroads. The lovers can represent a crossroads. So I really see this moon as kind of like making a decision where you're not sure what the future looks like. Again, this is, this is like, you know, astrology 101. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, because if you look at the astrology, this is pretty much what everybody is dealing with. Um, you know, wh whenever it shows up on a personal level for you in a reading like this, to me, it says maybe Scorpios are just dealing with it on a much deeper level. Maybe you're really feeling the energy right now. You're feeling pressured to make these decisions. And that's kind of where I feel like you're at is that you're maybe feeling a little bit of that moon pressure. I actually personally, I like the moon card. It is Pisces, I'm Pisces, but um, I, I like the moon card because, you know, yeah, it can be pressure, but at the same time, it's like, how do you form a diamond? You put a bunch of pressure on some coal, right? So in a lot of ways, you're turning into a diamond here, Scorpio, is what I'm trying to say. But what I'm also trying to say is that the moon doesn't say stop. You know, nowhere on the moon does it say stop. There's a path that runs straight down the middle of the moon card, and it terminates at some mountains. Literally, the hermit is standing at the top of a mountain. So for a lot of you, I feel like you're going on this journey to get to the top of a mountain. It's pretty you know, clear to me what is going on here. Uh, with the Two of Pentacles, again, making a decision, trying to decide what to do. And the Ace of Wands, very simple, <laughs> says, hey, 
move towards your desires. The Ace of Wands is like, hey, there are things that you like doing. There are things you don't like doing. Move towards things that you feel attracted to do. Like if we literally go like this as well, Ace of Wands, Moon to the Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is a card of seduction. It's just a card that says move towards your desires. Like I said, I, I don't think I've had a reading that has been like this straightforward for you in a long time. So it's pretty direct, for, very straightforward energy in this reading. And I feel like it is saying move towards your joy, your desires, happiness, all those other things. Uh, in your next row, you have this 12th house card. It says introspection. Again, I feel like you're just looking at different things in your life that make you tick, you know, things that make you happy or bring joy into your life or the opposite that bring sadness and depression into your life maybe. And I feel that introspection is you kind of figuring out what you value in your life, like what is valuable to you. I see this happening a lot. I mean, I think a lot of people in, uh, you know, kind of are maybe even looking at careers and saying like, wait, do I actually, you know, value having a career? I mean, to me, the whole career thing is BS in the first place. Like I know, I know that we're raised to think think that we need some amazing freaking career and like do all this other stuff, right? But um, my problem with the career is it's like, uh, what happens? What do we What do we see people doing? We see people miserable, sitting in traffic for like hours and hours and hours a day, uh, just trying to get to their career that they don't even want in the first place. Uh, are there some people who want careers? Yeah, absolutely. There are some people I'm sure that just love their job. So I'm not saying if you love your job, you have to leave. But what I am saying is that I feel like some of you could be saying, you know what, I'd rather have a family. I'd rather um, be home. I'd rather go move to the middle of the woods or something like that, right? It's like your values are changing and you're making these decisions. Uh, here's the other thing. It could be the opposite. You could be saying to yourself, I want to get out of the woods and, and, I, and I want a career. So again, everybody has different values. That's the beautiful thing about being alive, right? And being a human is that we all, we're not all the same. Thank God. And uh, even though, you know, again, my, my arch nemesis Zuckerberg, he is trying to, um, he is dr trying to uh, make us all the same. I'm convinced. Um, and what I would say here is that we're all different for a reason. So, you know, it's going to, it's, this is based off your own values is what I'm trying to stutter through here, Scorpio. Uh, in this row, you have the page of cups, the moon and the queen of cups. Uh, definitely could be a water sign coming in for you with this page of cups energy. Uh, page of cups kind of reminds, especially with the moon card kind of reminds me of like, wouldn't it be nice if energy, I think I said it to a sign this week as well. It's like, you know, it's like one of those things where he's dreaming of that fish. That fish might not exist. That might be part of his imagination on his card. So you could be imagining things where you're saying to yourself, like, wouldn't it be nice if I, you know, had a Ferrari? Wouldn't it be nice if I uh, lived in the woods and didn't have to answer to anyone? Wouldn't it be nice if I had a career where I did have to answer to everyone? Some people like that. Some people don't, right? <laughs> Just like I said. So whatever, whatever your wouldn't it be nice is, is I feel like that's what this is right here. You're having these moments where you're uh, daydreaming and I feel like you're saying to yourself, wouldn't it be nice? Again, daydreaming right here, the moon card. So I feel for some of you, you're having these daydreams and, um, but these things are starting to become reality. Again, when we, I think people don't realize like when we have these daydreams, when we imagine things, when we kind of like plant seeds in the universe with our thoughts, it's like sometimes those things become very real. I always use the example. It's like, um, you know, moving. Uh, when I moved to Seattle, <laughs> it started as an idea. <laughs> it did not start as something that was serious, right? And then I did it. Um, and then I moved a year, like a year later as well. Um, still in the same area, but for the most part, it started as an idea. I was just like, oh, we should get out of here. <laughs> and uh, I moved. Um, so, you know, like I said, I feel like sometimes these we have these thoughts that really don't, um, we don't think are anything, but then they turn into something much bigger. And I see that with this moon card. Uh, same thing with the Queen of Cups as well. Queen of Cups is a card of nurturing, kind, caring, intuitive energy. But I always say that to me, she really represents keeping your eye on the prize. You know, she is very, very focused on that cup. But it looks like a trophy. It's like, have you ever seen a cup like this? Like if you tried to pour water in that, uh, it would just spill all over it, right? To me, it looks like a trophy. So I always say that with the Queen of Cups, it's about like nurturing something that you want to bring into existence. I always say that the Ace of Wands is just the spark. It is the spark of life. It is just that one kind of flash that, the, you know, I always say it's like the root going down into the soil from the seed. It is that like initial spark of life. And there's some sort of seed that is being planted here, but it's probably deep in your thoughts with this 12th house card. And uh, I feel like some of you are kind of like having these moments where you're daydreaming for long periods of time. It uh, could be love as well. 
Uh, next, you have this Valley card. This card says deep personal strength and peace that assure success. I like that. And you also have this um, Crib card, which says birth or conception of a child or enterprise. That's nice. Some of you could be having a child. Uh, it doesn't have to be a child, though. Again, this card says or enterprise. So you're clearly starting something new. Could be a relationship as well. But something is being born into your life with these cards. It's been a long journey. Again, you uh, have that hermit who has gone through the moon card, technically. He has kind of like gone through his dark night of the soul. He's, uh, you know, climbed to the top of the mountain, and now he's shining his inner light. You know, he's at that top of the mountain there. Uh, in this row, you have the Queen of Wands, the Hermit, and the Four of Cups. Queen of Wands is about being bold, being assertive, really going for what you want. Also about being very attractive at this time. So you could be attracting someone into your life. The Hermit, again, is like a rite of passage. It says you have gone through something to find success, and now you're shining your inner light. Uh, the Four of Cups is a question, <laughs> question mark. Here, Scorpio, I feel like your question is, is the grass going to be greener on the other side? Uh, without even clarifying, I can tell you, yes, probably. I would say that this reading is encouraging you to move on to something new. And so uh, we're going to clarify this in just a second. But I feel in a lot of ways that this reading is saying that, yes, the grass is greener on the other side. There's something more. I kind of get an energy of needing to make sure that you're not selling yourself short as well and not settling, right? Um, I do, feel, like, I don't think, I don't know, it drives me nuts when, like, people say things like settle <laughs> or anything like that. You're probably the same based off of my intu intuitive feelings here with this reading. Um, so... You know, what I would say is that I feel like you are kind of like having this urge to push it to the limits here uh, with this reading and to like see like how much farther you can push something. Could be love, could be business, could be everything in your life. You could be looking to push it to the limits in multiple areas of your life. And I would definitely do that um, with this energy. I feel like you're going to be rejecting things. Like, you know, I'm sure you've all had people like, um, who say things like, how much more do you need, right? It's like whenever I talk about money, there are people in my life who say, like, how much more do you need? And I'm, um, as much as freaking possible. It's like, why stop? It's like, I can do great things with money. It's like people automatically assume it's evil. It's like, you can donate it. You can help people with it. You can help dogs with it. You can you can do whatever you want, right? So um, as much as possible. It's like people who say, who put limits on other people are, are just trying to drag you down to their energy. I always tell people to reject that. And I feel like you are rejecting that energy. Anybody who puts any type of limitation on you, I feel a very strong, like, psh, pushing away <laughs> is what that noise means. So... Uh, very interesting. Uh, we're going to do part two right now. Again, part two is linked up in the description or the uh, top pinned comment down below. So uh, thank you for being here, Scorpio. Really appreciate it. Uh, and definitely enjoy your week.